And Zoo Tampa is 90% self-funded, and it's feeling the impact of not having visitors right now. But do the animals miss meeting new friends? Eight on your side, daytime host Danny New gives us a look. People have often wondered if animals actually like us. It varies. But now the question has become, with no guests at the Lowry Park Zoo, do they even notice if we're gone? There we go, Jamie. So, Jamie is a greater one horn rhino. As you can tell, I'm excited to see Jamie. She's more focused on nourishment. But overall, the Tampa Zoo staff says the animals are a little confused right now. Their routine in general is a little off. Uh, it's definitely quiet out in the zoo, so I think they uh, definitely can tell that things are different. Really, it depends on the animal. For example, the koalas just have too packed of a schedule. Yeah, so these guys pretty much like spend the majority of their time up in the trees, as you see, sort of tucked in. And generally speaking, these guys are spending about 22 hours a day sleeping. The life. Meanwhile, the rhinos don't mind people. They just have a couple conditions. She's a sweetheart, but uh, she can be a bit of a diva. Big personality, want things to go her way. She's the boss. But according to the staff, it's our distant cousins, the primates, who miss us the most. Great apes are incredibly social. I think our orangutans can really tell that things are different around the zoo. They certainly are very observant. They're watching all the guests that come in. Well, guess we got one more family member to Zoom. If you want to donate, their website is zootampa.org. Reporting from Pepper. I'm Danny New.